Welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite baby girl, Adesi, aka Ojuga Nawarezi. So, guys, <laughs> oh my god, it's been a long time coming. I think long time no sit down video. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. So, today, please permit me today. I'm going to do what I have never done before. And I am going to try. It's not something I'm used to because it's my first time. But I am going to do it because we learn, you know. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about, I'll be talking about our Mrs. Messi Chiu Bless. Gang, gang, gang. And um, Ogaizi concepts. That's Ogaizi. I'm going to talk about them. But before I dive into this video, please, if you're here and you've not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Biko, I beg you, eh? Now beg. If you want me to kneel down, see, I am going to kneel down. Help me subscribe to my channel. I am too fine. Look at me now, eh? I am too fine to have up to 1,000 subscribers. Come on, come on, hit the subscribe button. I am begging you. I am begging you. So, if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by. Please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe. Consider subscribing now, eh? Thank you so much. And if you're an old subscriber, Thank you so much. Thank you for returning. Thank you. You guys are the reason I keep trying to do one or two here, okay? Thank you so much. And please, let's get into the video. Okay. Okay, so first, before I start, if you know me, in fact, my friends of YouTube, my family, everybody, they know how much I love Mr. Chimu. Like everybody, literally, if you are if you are my friend and you don't know that I love Mr. Chimu, then you're on a long thing. I know everybody knows. In fact, I think I'll look for that video. There's a video of um of myself in 2017. I think it was in 2017, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I just came into Port Harcourt, I went to Port Harcourt, um, my one pack. <laughs> I dressed up. I wore a pink top. I can remember. I wore my glasses. I want to look for that video. I don't know. I'll check everywhere, Instagram, anywhere. So maybe I'll see that video. It's a video of um, Miss Chimo's. I think her first album launch. I was there under the sun, listening to my Miss Chimo. So please. <laughs> me allow me to do what i want to do okay okay so um first i've always known missy missy chimo and ogaizi i think since that 2017 that i came to put i've always known how to be under ogaizi and from potakot they moved to lagos i remember when they said they moved to lagos and i was so excited and things were going well I used to see their videos, they make a lot of fun fun videos together and it was my Yeah? <laughs> Mama, what the world couldn't give you, David? 
Jesus gave it to me abundantly. Abundantly. Come on. Come on, what the world couldn't give me. Gave it to me abundantly. Come on. Come on. an agreement of the things that Jesus has given to me. And I will eat. Say no, because if you eat, you have joined the hair that I did. And I not stole or steal, I took. I took. <laughs> I took my stole from Mama. Loving. I mean, the kind of relationship they had, who wouldn't love? I loved. I loved the bond they had. In fact, there was a time I saw Messi here in Portacourt with Ogaizi. At the point, I'm like, this guy, is the, this man is the best thing that happened to Messi. I think I was discussing with one of the pastor friends. I told him that that we need more men like Easy Concept in the industry, in the gospel industry, to push people. That he's just a savior to young people. And honestly, after Messi came, I also saw the influence on Judy K. After Judy, I also saw the influence on GSC. And I'm like, man, this man is just too good. Only for me to just realize a lot of things has been going wrong. Like, not a lot of things has going wrong, please. No, please. Misconception, no. Only for me to realize that they are having one or two issues. And, oh, I was heartbroken, but it is what it is. And it's actually not my business. And I'm not in a place to know what it is. We will just keep watching and know if one day we will get to hear because they've not spoken. Now, you know, kingdom people, nobody will want to talk. They will not want to act like worldly people that will call out each other on Instagram or anywhere. So we we are just here waiting to know if one day we hear the memes. But for now, let us hear this one, okay? So first, I noticed in May, June, they stopped commenting on each other's posts. I stopped seeing that their phone videos where Messi will be calling my yoga, my yoga, my yoga. I stopped seeing all those videos. I stopped seeing her in Easy Concept Studio. I stopped seeing her pictures and their videos together. In fact, I saw their latest billboard here in Porta Court and Messi was there. And I'm like, oh wow, that's so serious. Actually, true, true, Messi has left Easy Concept. And we don't even know about it. But I feel they will still come out to address because if you go to Mrs. Bio, she doesn't have um, easy concept management Gmail again, be their email, their official email on her bio again on Instagram. I mean, and if you still check, Mrs. has been pushing her own YouTube channel because before now, most of their videos or most of the things they do, they always post it on easy concept official YouTube channel. I think it was in December that I saw Missy taking her YouTube channel serious. Yes, it was in December. That means the thing might have started in December. What do you think? Do you know about this? Did you ever think about this? If you do, please let me know in the um, comment section below so that we can also hear. Eh? See, I want to also know because I know I noticed. I didn't notice in January. So I think I noticed in May, June. Okay? And when I confirmed was June. What happened in June? I think was it June that Missy announced her engagement, or was it July? I really don't know. But, uh, I don't know. June, July. When she announced her, her when she announced her engagement, um, every other person posted. I saw a lot of people that posted, and Missy went and she commented and replied and thanked them for celebrating her. But Judy K posted Missy. Missy didn't comment. GUC posted Messi. Messi didn't comment. In fact, she didn't make it. She didn't post She didn't post Messi. She didn't post. So me, I know that one is that well. Uh -huh. So she didn't post. And I think after a while, Ogaizi posted. And I'm not so sure. I think Messi didn't still comment. Yes, I'm very sure. Messi didn't comment. That was when I just concluded, oh, okay, something is wrong. Because I know how they always comment on each other's posts. And the response I get, they get. Each time Missy comments on Jesus' post or Jesus comments, Jesus, they call each other bro, sis, all those things, all those things. And they, they are no more there. So 
the handwriting is just so clear on the wall. It's not something that is hidden. It's something that is very clear. But Pillow Kingdom people, they wouldn't want to come and address, just like I said before. So, on July 9th, my birthday, I think I spoke with someone, and the person confirmed that Miss is no longer with is a concept. And she won't release any music for now until September when their contract will expire. Because I think it was five years or six years contract to contract they signed. So it was supposed to expire in September. So they said Missy won't be releasing any music because any music she releases before that September, uh, before their contract expires, it still is a concept music no matter what. So if you watch, Missy hasn't released any music since then. So it's a confirmation that it is true. All right. Then, okay. So down to Mrs. Wedding. Imagine Ogaizi and Creed did they attend Mrs. Traditional Marriage? Immediately I saw this, I'm like, what? What is wrong? This is serious. They didn't come for her traditional marriage, but they came for her. In fact, they didn't come for her traditional marriage, but they came for her white wedding. Yes, I saw them during the white wedding. I saw their videos, I saw their pictures. In fact, I saw and I confirmed they came for the white wedding, but they didn't come for the trial. And this is all like them because when GUC did this wedding, it was a, it was a big event. In fact, they were there for the child, they were there for the white. So if they were still in good terms with Messi, until would have stopped them from attending the white and the child. Okay, considering that they are all put cuts. They are Pitapa people now. Guys is a PH man and GNC PH too. But they didn't come for the trial, they came for the white. Maybe they came for the white so that people will not talk. I don't know because it is what it is. So, um, and after that, even after the wedding, GC posted Missy, Mrs. Steeding comments. JDK posted Missy, Mrs. Steeding comments. So, I don't need any confirmation. You think I, I don't need any confirmation or any prophet. Sorry, I don't need any prophets to tell me that something is wrong in the kingdom and truth to something is wrong, okay? So, the latest thing that made me bring out my camera to film this video is the last post. I mean, I saw one post Macy did on her. She posted on her Instagram. She wrote that God should save us from friends that are strategic when we are being real to them. And I'm like, gang, gang, is Macy talking to a guy, is he? Was Ogaizi being strategic when, when, uh, when they were working together? Is there something they are not telling us? They should come out and tell us. We deserve to know too. We want to know. <laughs> it won't be a bad idea if they come out and tell us. And it won't still change anything, all right? So, um, after Missy wrote that, I think after a while, after some days, Ogaizi posted a video it, that... He posted a video singing that friendship song John, Don Jazzy did with Johnny Drill. And I'm like, oh, whoa, this is serious. It's, all this is that just related. And it's a confirmation that something is wrong. It might really not be a big deal. But what I heard, I heard because of the um, the money Ogaizu was making from Messi, a lot of people were telling Messi that she would make money better alone. That was what I heard. It might not be the truth. See, I said I heard. It might not be the truth. But they said, Ogaizi takes how many percent? And Missy takes how many percent? And it doesn't make sense. And Missy had to just stay on her own because alone she was making so much money. And I also heard Missy's marriage, I be mean, Missy's relationship with Pastor Blessed. I don't know. I don't know. But I think, oh, sorry. Do you think? And Macy's relationship with Pastor Bless is also a big problem. He contributed to this. Do you think so? Because I think they might have been dating for a while. And there's no how this won't know. So do you think that's a big problem for them? I really don't know. And if that's the case, do you think they should have handled this better? Were they supposed to come out and tell the world we're no more together? She's no more signed to the easy concepts. Um, 
family she's now on her own and then miss miss chimu was supposed to come out and tell us no 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 i'm no more with easy concepts i'm not on my own i don't know what do you think please let me know down there but for me my own opinion um when they started they announced yes so i feel when you are ending any relationship that has to do with the public considering that what you guys are doing is business because it's business it's a give and take thing messi helped easy make money with her talent all right easy helped messi climb up there by managing her let me tell you it's one thing to have talent too it's another thing to meet someone that will help you climb they both played a major role in each other's life this is what i have to say they both played a major role if there is no easy without easy there will be no missy chimu without missy chimu there will be no easy get what i mean i'm not saying god cannot just bring someone else to help and all that no mm -mm. that's not what i'm saying get me i mean the both of them they played they played significant roles in each other's life all right because is is good i mean he's very good he's a known he's a good producer producer and he manages very well all right i don't have any people that wants easy to manage them because they know what he can do all right then messi in the other hand she's too good she sings very well you can see do you understand so easy also needs her i mean i think messi projected easy out there too all right so it's a two-way thing it's a give and take both of them they helped each other and i don't feel anybody was used although what i heard was um, easy was making so much money out of Mrs. talent and career or whatever so what do you think do you think um one person was getting and the other person was losing let me hear your thoughts let's go or what do you think do you think it's the case of someone using the other do you think messi used organize it to climb to fame to be known to organize her life to manage her life to know how to protect herself in the industry because or do you think organize used Missy Chimo to make money because i learned the percentage he was taking from her was high i learned i heard so when you want to hold me, hold me by what I heard, okay? So do you think is it that do you think that's the case? I don't know, but I just I don't know. I'm telling you what I heard. We are just here watching. I just said I should talk about this. And if I get other updates, I promise to come here and spill so that we can always we can all talk. So please, if you know anything about this, if you know anything about Messi and Ogizi, if you've heard anything about it, please feel free to comment down below and I'll be glad to, to, to also read and know what you guys think about it. Oh, if you really, 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 really know about the, the gist or you have the full gist, please give us, we also want to hear. And on this note, I'll be ending this video here. Thank you so much for watching to this moment. Uh -oh. Thank you so much and please remember if you're not subscribed to this channel or dear mouth subscribe please thank you so much and see you guys in my next video bye